Now that you've explored the layers of racism, we are going to explore the layers that exist within music. How many different instruments and sounds do you think were used to create the entrepreneur song? We can play a little bit of the song and see if you can listen for how many different kinds of instruments and layers of sound are you are being used. All right, we heard a little bit of the clip. Now let's find out how much was really involved. Can you believe how many layers of instruments and sounds were used to create the song? So awesome. Today you're going to learn how to do to, to exactly what Shalise did. You will import sounds into your song and use the function Fit Media to code at least five tracks to create a short song. Before we move on, please write down today's key term, track, into your notebook. So a track is a part of a song that is recorded separately as a musical clip and added to a piece of music. In a DAW, or your digital audio workspace, tracks are arranged in rows and labeled with numbers. Today you will code the intro to your song. You will code five tracks in your code editor and then get to see them in your digital audio workstation, just like Shalise and Mike. I will show you how to do this and then you will do it this by yourself. Before we get started, we need to create a sound bank with all your favorite sounds that we will use during our song. You can find many sound clips from genres such as R&B, hip hop, EDM, house, pop and funk, and many more. And from over 300 different instrument samples. In addition to Pharrell, we have sound clips from recording artists and sound engineers such as Sierra Common, Richard Devine, and Young Guru. To get started, we're first going to do a search through the clips and find your favorite drum and vocal sounds and then we're going to add this to our code in our sound bank and then we're going to learn how to use them in our with our fit media We hope you had fun listening to the awesome beats in the sound browser. Were you able to choose just two favorite sounds and paste them in the code editor? You may have noticed that the sounds you chose have pretty long names. For example, one of our favorite drum sounds has the name Entre underscore beat underscore drum beat. This would be a lot to type over and over again in our script. It would be a lot easier if this sound had a nickname. Luckily, we can use variables to give our favorite sounds nicknames. This allows us to use them over and over again in our code without having to type such a long name. It also keeps us from making spelling errors. So what is a variable? We can see a definition on your document, a unit of storage that creates a space in the computer's memory to store data. A variable is a unit of storage that can be changed to represent a value. To use variables, we need to give the variable a name and assign it a value. So we can take our favorite drum sound, which was had that really long name, and assign it to the variable drum. You can then use the variable drum to represent that entire name throughout your code. The variable is defined as using the equals as an assignment operator. We are going to look at how variables can represent sound clips in today's lessons and numbers in future lessons. So write down variable in your assignment document. And let's think about why we should use variables. Not only can it save us from spelling mistakes, but also I could change my variable, the value of the variable pretty easily. So if I set up a particular, if I set up a particular drum beat, then I change my mind. I don't have to go through the whole code and find that long name and change it. I can just change the value of my variable and it will change into my all throughout my song. So using variables is just going to be so important for us. So here's an example of what we're going to be doing. You're going to define up to five, you need at least five variables 
and you can see a couple of them can be vocal you're going to have like a drum some kind of a bass a lot of instrumentals and maybe one vocal each one's going to have its own name and you're going to assign it to a sound and you're going to do this part in your code and i will show you how to do it Now that you've chosen your sounds for your intro, we're going to learn how to add your sounds into the intro section using a function. A function is a piece of code that you can easily call over and over again. So you have this definition on your document and you can fill in the right term, which is function. We use this function um, already when we did our lesson zero. And so we've been, we're used to doing fit media. You can see that set tempo and make beat are also built-in functions. And check out the spelling. That's going to be really important. You'll notice that just the M in fit media is capital, just the T in set tempo, and just the B in make beat. So it is case sensitive in Python, so you'll, you'll have to make your spelling very exact. So one more term for you to add in. The function that adds audio clips to a track and uses four arguments or parameters is the fit media. And those parameters are the sound clip, the track, the starting measure, and the ending measure. So those are the four arguments or parameters that this particular built-in function needs, fit media. So here's the instructions that you're going to do. I've made this into a PDF and linked it in your document into your assignment. So if you'd like to look at the directions, because if you're a visual person, you want to read the directions, you can click on the link and follow the directions. I'm also going to do a demonstration or I'll lead the class in it and you can follow along with me. You can read it or you can do a combination of both. Then at the end of our day, we're going to have our exit ticket. And thank you very much for your participation.